We're back on the air. This is Radio Entrepreneurs, and uh, all month we've been talking about the Family Business Awards of Massachusetts, which are coming up at the end of October, October 23rd, I think it is. And I'm pretty excited, and our next guest is a multiple returning guest. I am a, a real junkie for her company. Uh, they are a finalist in the small business category. It's Valerie Abono of Golden Cannoli Shells Company. Hi, Valerie. Hi, Jeffrey. How are you? Thanks for having me back. I'm always ready to have you back. You know that. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> I, when have I ever said no to you? You have never said no, uh, yeah. so thank I, you so much. What is Golden Cannoli? Because, again, a lot of people still don't know what sure, it is. Sure, sure. There's always, we, we try to uh, educate people. We call it the cannoli movement. Um, you know, we can teach people about Golden Cannoli, but we can't teach them... Um, I mean, sorry, we can teach people about cannoli in the sense of creating that awareness for the product, but but customers, our customers are selling them as their own. So there's a very strategic balance between selling a golden cannoli product and then a, just a cannoli. So what we try to do is um, at Golden Cannoli is obviously we want to make high quality products at the best price in a food safe and fr uh, customer friendly environment. And we're trying to do that by, um, you know, thinking back to what our fathers said, you know, work hard you know, make a good product, don't try to be rich, just make a good product and the rest will take care of itself. Um, and at the end of the day, we're still owner operators, we're in there, you know, on the line if it needs to be, we drive trucks if we have to. So we're really hands on in our business. And that's what I think has made success because when our employees see us working hard, they in turn work hard and there's a passion for the product. Can you eat cannolis for breakfast? Absolutely. Throw some eggs and bacon in it and throw it in the oven. Why not? Oh my. Eggs and bacon and a cannoli. Yeah, if you do the sa well, that's what we're transitioning into is the savory side of things as well. So we have uh, cannoli shells that are garnished with garlic powder and, and herbs. You can fill them with hot dogs and hamburger. You could put uh, meatballs and sauce and cheese. Bake them in the oven for 350 for five minutes, and you have an appetizer. I'm getting hungry. <laughs> <laughs> They're the best. Very but versatile. I also think, you know, uh, but hotels could be serving them on their dessert trays for breakfast as well. Sure. If they if they can think outside the box, and that's what we're trying to do, is, is the cannoli shell is the holder for what you want to put in it. And the only limitation is your your th thought process. If you can't think about something like a, eggs and bacon in a cannoli, then you can never make it and enjoy it. Oh, bacon goes but with everything ba now. Everything is with bacon. Everything's so, nowadays um, so with we're, bacon. Although we're holding on to that traditional cannoli experience of the traditional cannoli with ricotta, we also have to understand that our business, um, we can't limit our growth by being so stuck in that box. So we've opened up the box and now we're jumping out and thinking of different ways of enjoying a cannoli. Now it's not just cannoli, you have a proprietary process to the way you create cannolis, correct? That's correct. I, I think cannoli are generally all made in the same way, but we have a lot of processing steps throughout throughout the, the um, that 15 minute process that allows us to really make sure that we're making the golden cannoli and not just any other cannoli. But I can find a golden cannoli just by looking at it. I can tell there are certain features yes. that make it uni unique. Yes. If you look at a cannoli shell in the bakery department of any supermarket, restaurant, or coffee shop, uh, there are little pinholes that are um, strategically placed throughout the, the sheet of dough that take the air pockets out. That way you don't have a big bubble burst. When you see those little pinholes, you know it's a golden cannoli. And do you do them without the pinholes as well? No. So that is your brand? Yes, yes. And so when someone walks into a grocery store and they think, oh, this is not as good as a North End cannoli, it's the same cannoli, correct? It, chances are it is the same cannoli. We, we, you can't really go anywhere these days and find uh, a product that isn't made by us, which is really exciting, but also is challenging too because we need to be able to spread um, that cannoli awareness over a larger area. So now that we're a national known company and soon to be Canada and Mexico, those are the types of challenges we're going to have where we have a really big reach that we need, you know, to, to continue to educate our customers.